talk about it because these are roles that other actors that you know and you know and like did get the roles and they did an awesome job usually so it's like you know like man i could have done better but except in my case i'm like oh he did way better than me whatever it's okay <laughs> like uh probably i think the first role i auditioned for that i didn't get was detective conan <laughs> like the little kid i wanted to be him when i was like 10. <laughs> and i was like I was broken when I didn't make that audition. That was the first audition I ever, like, didn't get the part. And I was like, whoa. But, like, now I'm used to it. Like, you get, like, 1 in 20 things you audition for. So if any of you want to be actors, just remember that it's not a big deal not to get the part at all. Expect not to get the part even. Like, because you'll get other parts. It's cool. Yeah. Um, what's the weirdest thing that's ever happened with a fan? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Alright, this one girl asked me if she could rate me. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> I was like, well, actually, if I said yes to that, then it would not be, in fact, rape. But then I realized <laughs> that I was subliminally giving her permission to rape me. <laughs> so I stopped talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, another girl, she baked me a cake that had her number on the frosting. So that, was, that was cool. That was I respected that. That was awesome. Did you call her? No. I, I, I ate the number. <laughs> yes, please, yeah. Well, hurry. <laughs> Joking? Don't hit me later. <laughs> Oh, there was more. This one girl made a comic book for me called Beware of Fans, starring me. <laughs> no, it was really high quality too, like, well done. I, I was so amazed by it. And, uh, it was all about me. Like, back when I had the long hair, which I'm getting back, I'm sorry. I was just, I was curious, and then not anymore. Like, it's, it's gonna come back. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Oh, comic book. Comic book, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so, like, <laughs> this girl kidnaps me, a fan girl kidnaps me, and, um, takes new pictures of me. I don't know why that had to be, uh, related. Like, while I was passed out, I will say, I did not consent to this. <laughs> From getting drugged, I guess. Probably by a cake with a number in the ice. <laughs> Maybe in my mind I just made this out to be a comic book. <laughs> and then my psychologist will tell me the truth. <laughs> um, and uh, this, these other girls like saved me with their ninja type skills. It was pretty. It was a really awesome book. I was I was excited about that. They had nunchuck skills. They did not have nunchuck skills. Uh, they did have archery skills. Napoleon Dynamite, for those of you that don't know. I think that was right. They, he was talking about archery yeah. skills, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Bow staff skills. What's a bow staff? I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, in the series when, like, all right, if I, everyone's seen it, right? I'm not going to be spoiling anything. Go for okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Um, when Edward dies and like Alphonse is like upset, how do you like mentally re prepare yourself for like an like a shock that's not actually real? Well, I did not prepare myself because nobody told me what was gonna happen ever in the show. <laughs> I was like, wait, so what happens? What happens to the brothers? Why haven't we seen Hughes for six episodes, man? <laughs> What's the deal? What's the deal? And Mike's just like, I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> Pretty crazy, right? <laughs> hey, hey, you know. Like, I would try so hard to find out what was up, but nobody would tell me. And uh, so that way, it kept it kind of natural. Whenever, when Ed died, I did not expect him to die. But I did expect him to come back, because I was just like, yeah, he's coming back. I'm a philosopher's zone. I'm going to do my stuff. <laughs> Or, you know, something, because I, I don't know, I just knew. So, any, any like, acting that I did was, like, no preparation. It was just, like, you know, natural. Somewhat. Yeah. Was it hard for you to break into this, the uh, in voice acting industry when at such a, yeah, at such a young age? Honestly, for me, for, yeah. for other people, it was probably different. Um, no, it wasn't. 
I wasn't trying. I was nine years old. I didn't care about anything except my Pokemon cards. <laughs> I was trying to get a holographic Charizard. Oh, I never got that one. And I was... No. I was still trying to get my nine tails back because this one kid like traded me a B drill for a nine tails. Because I thought he was cool, I went with it. God. <laughs> and uh, this other kid stole my Mr. Mime. So these are the things that were on my nine year old mind at the time that uh, my cousin, who's also in my dad's band, Justin Cook, was directing Fruits Basket and was like, hey, Aaron, you can read, right? <laughs> And I was reading Harry Potter as well, and even though I was in like second grade, I, no, or, I don't know, I, I was in a grade, <laughs> at a school, an elementary school, and uh, he's like, you can read, right? And I'm like, yes, I can. And uh, so he gave me like a two-liner in Fruits Basket. Um, I was young Akito, I was whipping young Yuki, <laughs> telling him he was a freak and that his friends would never accept him. <laughs> because he turned into a rat whenever a girl hugged him. And, uh, yeah, it was good times. I, I had a lot of fun with that. You yeah. know, you know yeah. Keto ends up being a woman, right? Not in the show. Because it was cancelled. <laughs> he was not going to be a woman. He sounded like a dude. I mean, didn't he? In the English version, didn't he sound like a dude? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was a dude. <laughs> <laughs> it is? Yes. Hope it's not me. No, it's not. Okay, cool. Um, <coughs> oh, yeah, and then uh, I went from that to uh, being able to be, in he to be hero in Fruits Basket. And then I was pretty much in. Like, then I signed all the contracts and stuff. And I was able to audition for other parts, like Al. And, uh, that was the part where things got kind of difficult. But once you're in, you can just kind of keep auditioning for a while. And they really liked having, I think I was the first kid actor that they had to be kids, like not a woman actor. So I kind of had a little corner of the industry all to myself. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Aaron, do you read, do you read the mangas for the part that you play, or is that confusing to do? Um, 